Uh, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Nikki. I tend to ramble and um, I'm weird. It's Only because I'm too poor to be eccentric. And I love to laugh at myself. So yeah, I'm also kind of sarcastic. So And fabulously fierce. Hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's video It's Friday so it is time for another new makeup releases I'm excited, I kind of feel like a villainess So let's see if I can be sweet or, I don't know, salty With my new coffee mug that says coffee The eye makeup I did film, it's a get ready with me which is coming next week I used a bunch of things that I got for my birthday from my friends uh, One of my dear dear sisters here online, is, her name is Debbie Her channel name is Debutan, I will link it down below And from another friend that her, her name I will not mention So yeah, if you want to know, it's yes I'm wearing glitter, I know who am I But I am, and I do really really like how the look turned out So... Mm. If you want to see how I created this and what I have on my eyeballs Make sure you are subscribed and have hit the notification bell So that when the video goes online Basically the thumbnail will be me and then holding this Look at that thumbnail And then, then, then you will know When you know, you know I do have to say that um, I usually combine a little bit more of a lifestyle stuff And I do have some lifestyle, lifestyle stuff The first thing that I'm going to mention though I have to give a warning of Because if you are afraid of spiders you Maybe you should look away now And then I will basically uh, You can just still listen but You, I will tell you when the picture is down It's not a true, it's not a real spider though So don't worry, but the picture is coming now And you see it here This is actually a crochet uh, It's it's a tar crocheted tarantula And what you see is the pattern So my sister actually sent this to me in DM It's a pattern on Etsy um, By Larry Larry Crafts NL And I will link down below where you can find it And this is made by someone um, uh, Ineetje And I will link the Instagram handles down below as well But when I saw this I was like I, I need to make this I know I need one Honestly um, If you don't know I recent, I will pull the picture down now So it's safe to, to watch again um, But If you don't know, I actually have two tarantulas And uh, yeah, I need this I need this So if you love to crochet Again, I will leave it down below I, yes I I need this pattern What can, you know, you know If you know, you know Okay, let's next go to uh, No no weird warnings are You can just watch uh, Unless you're afraid of cats and dogs Then maybe you should w not watch the next part Because this is about cats and dogs This is from Fiber Art by Katie Green And look at this So this is a needle felted port portraits They are on commission base um, Commissions are open on her Etsy store And I will leave it down below But oh my lord These look so real They're not vegan uh, maybe she can make them vegan, I don't know But usually when they felt, they use wool uh, But this is so extremely stunning This is wow That's the only word I have for it So I will leave down below her Etsy store I will also leave the Instagram handle down below So that you can check out what she what she does And what she has done uh, Next I am going to go to Foiled and Fluxed This is a Mushy Cottage Candle Holder um, Five have, add, have been added to the site But this was a It's an older post from the 22nd of February uh, But I don't know what she still has in stock But these look so, so cute These look so cute I love this type of glass work I really, really like how this is looking So again, I will leave the Instagram handle down below I will leave down below where you can find these Ah, it's just so cool I love stuff like this uh, A lot, yeah Let me know, maybe you even know the brand Let's next go to... I have a makeup in between, but that's okay Let's go to Unearthly Cosmetics Because you see here an arm with swatches on it And these are the swatches on a darker skin tone of the new blushes that she's going to release I don't know uh, when they will release 
but that's it so i will leave the site down below i do have a discount code with unearthly cosmetics which is also affiliated and i think we're getting some in pr as well and i cannot wait to try her blush formula there are shades on here that i'm like oh, they're so pretty so so pretty so yeah i cannot wait if i know launch details before i'm done editing i will leave it down below and otherwise just check her site um, and if i have more information that is important to know i will talk about it again next week okay let's next go to um this which is from the woven wild um there has been a shop update because that happened on the first of march and it's the fourth today uh and this is also felt it this is this is more i want to say um, a little bit more fantasy based maybe even uh but this is also so cute and the colors are stunning so i will also leave down below where you can find this i will leave the instagram handle down below again felt it it's usually sheep's wool um yeah very very cool very very cool indeed okay let's next go i think this is the last kind of lifestyle thing before we really go into makeup and this is from moth and myth um you see here a picture of beetles uh let's see here it says here by popular re request they are doing a small batch of dewy glowy spider webs that will have timed release march the 4th which is today i don't know if they are still in stock But I'll link, I will link the site down below. They'll be announcing Moth and Myth Realm, uh, creative art and decor in in-person classes hosted, hosted, and by Moth and Myth. So I think they're going to do creative art decor classes. That's very very cool actually. And these beetles that you see will be returning mid month, uh, and they will have a miniature wonder camera release for you to ooh, think tiny snake skeletons, mini beetles and foiled mini morphos. <gasps> tiny snake skeletons. I gave a bigger one to my bestie and they are so cool and there will be more surprises. So keep your eye on their Instagram page which will be linked down below and on their website. I have ordered from them and this it's 3D printed paper, but it looks so, so real. It's stunning, honestly. Uh, yeah. What can I say? Let's, ne let's next go to uh, Saints, Angel, Sinners. Um, it's, the girl is on a roll, honestly. So here you see a picture of the Kazi palette. It is on pre-order in the shop now. And the, it's the color story that you see here. But the uh, the palette will have square pants instead of round. Um, it's available for pre-order now in her Etsy shop. And the other thing that I have. Which I actually mentioned last week. But now I have the color story from. It's the Unity. And this looks so stunning. Very, very pretty. I will leave her Etsy shop down below. I do have a discount code with her. It's not affiliated. It's Nikki15 that you can use. Um, I don't know if there is a 20% saving going on. Just check out her Etsy store. Um, I am on her PR list. I actually just received the PR package again. So I have two palettes that I can play with. And a few blushes. I also have two of her lip glosses. I think that her quality is so, so, so nice. Uh, honestly and the owner Darcy she's such a sweetheart go check her out go check her out and let me know if you have ordered anything from her okay let's next go to uh, Too Faced because they are coming out with their uh, sunset stripped summer of 2022 collection It's a Born This Way Sunset Stripped Complexion Inspired Eyeshadow Palette. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, pricing is 48 bucks. Um, the palette is available on March the 31st. While other items from the Sunset Stripped Collection will become available in May. I actually, when I saw this, I was like, didn't they release this already? But I like the color story. I like it. I like it. Uh, the bronzes that you see here um, is the milk chocolate matte, a chocolate matte and a natural chocolate. The milk chocolate is very, very fair. I have her the normal chocolate, so the one with the brown outer packaging. It is one of my favorites. Um, it's not even that dark, or at least I don't think so. Um, if you are fair... The milk chocolate will work for you, even if you're an olive. And yeah, the natural chocolate, maybe that's then dark. I, I like the outer. I almost want to get it just for the component. I'm not. But I kind of do want to. 
I kind of do want to. Yeah, and the eyeshadow palette. Yeah, I'm, I like how this looks. I do. Yeah, I, I, I know. I'm getting to be a basic bitch while looking fabulously fierce with a very dramatic and very bushy eyebrows today. I do have something for... I finally have something from Too Faced. Well, eyeshadow palette-wise, because I got this in the mail from my bestie, from Debbie. I got this from Debbie. I really, really wanted this. The Major Love palette. Why? My husband was a Marine. When we met... I needed it. I, I haven't tried it yet, but I really like how it is looking. Let me just show it to you because I can. You love me anyway. So I I love this tin. So I, oh, when I saw this, I, I got happy. And again, I'm just getting happy by the way that this looks. I love this. What can I say? It's very sturdy. It's very heavy duty. And then here is the color story. And I really do like the color story. I don't know. I find I thought it would be way more boring. Is it boring? Maybe. But I still like it. And I really, really want to try it. And this makes me want to get more of those. So dang it. But still, what can I say? What can I say? I, yeah, I'm going to try it soon. Soon. I don't know if I will film with it. But I do want to try it soon. Okay, let's next go to um, Ace Beauté. Because they are releasing their Pout Perfect Lip Collection. You get five creamy uh, lipsticks. You get seven velvety soft matte liquid lipsticks. Four smooth gliding lip liners. And three luxe lip glosses. And there's a rejuvenating lip oil. It is available already when you're seeing this. I would love to try stuff from this. Yeah, I would. Um, Ace Beauty used to have European resellers. I don't think that they do anymore, which is kind of a shame. If this had been on Beauty Bay, I would have ordered it. But Ace Beauty is no longer sold on Beauty Bay, so I'm kind of sad about it. They do ship to me. They do. But then I will have to pay um, VAT as well, which is kind of sucky. But uh, the lipstick colors look very pretty. I'm, yeah, I'm eyeing the orange one. What can I say? I'm eyeing the orange one. Uh, I love lip glosses and there seem to be very, very pretty shades in here. I would love to try stuff from this collection. Uh, will I? Not necessarily, unless I can find a reseller in... A reseller. Um, Even if it's, I don't know, Beautylish, for instance, because they already take care of the vet. You know, I don't want to pay vet. So there is that. <laughs> that rhymes. It was unintentional. Let's let's next go to this uh, from Danessa Myricks. They are they are releasing uh, the Yummy Skin Collection. It will be a serum foundation in 26 shades, shades medium coverage, buildable. Uh, it will retail at 34 bucks and refills are 24. Then there's also a Yummy Skin Glow Serum in two shades, nourishing oils for 34 bucks, and it's available the eighth. Um, I am actually getting her previous foundation not in a tube but in a i think it's in a pump uh, i ordered it from beauty bay um and then i saw this and i was like oh dang it i kind of wanted to try this one as well i don't know if there there seem to be olive shades because she had i think O for olive in her right No, she didn't. I actually ordered shade 2.75 because on the swatch, swatch cards that I saw, 2.75 looked the most olive, more olive than 3. Uh, and that one was on sale on Beauty Bay. So I was like, let me try it. But it looks to be that uh, we have 2G, which is a green, a lighter green. And then the next shade up is 5G, which is then medium. Uh, so yeah, there are um, olive shades in here. There are two pink shades. There's a neutral, another neutral. Um, and then you get in the more um, tan spectrum, you get warm shades included as well. I think the range goes very deep. I don't know if it's deep enough. It's probably never deep enough. Let's wait, I can. Maybe I need to put this on a, because I can just point and do this. Never mind. Um, let me know how the darker range is. But yeah, I, 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 
I, I would love to try this as well. Uh, Beauty Base sells the Nessa Myricks. Um, I don't know if this will come immediately, but I'm also still eyeing the Kosas foundation. I hope that it comes to Cult Beauty very, very soon um, so that I can... Yeah, order it there. I can order it from Kosas' own site, no problem. But And I don't have to pay VAT when it gets here. But I do pay VAT because it's included in the shipping. So there is that. So the shipping is pretty expensive, um, which I get. Um, but I didn't have the concealer. And, and I do want to try the foundation and the concealer. So that's what I was waiting for to have the concealer back in stock. Yeah, I kind of hope that it gets to Cult Beauty soon so that I can order it there. But we will see. Um, so I am very much interested in this foundation. I am very much interested. I love trying out foundations. What can I say? Uh, let's next go to... Um, oh yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Let's go to Indigenous Lashes because they are going to release a new collection. It's the Indigenous Sisters collection. It will launch the first day of spring, March 20th uh, this year. Uh, it's a face palette, a lipsticks and an eyeshadow palette. I love the artwork. I love the way that the collection looks. I have never tried them. I would like to, but I have never tried them. I will leave down below where you can find them. Let me know if you have ever ordered from them. If you've tried their stuff, I think that the collection looks looks very, very pretty. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let's next go to something that I am on the hunt for. And that is this. That is the Natasha Denona Pastel Palette. It has been leaked. It had been leaked, so it's we, we kind of knew it was coming. But it's available in Europe. Unfortunately, it's in, it's available in Europe in the Nordic country on Sephora. I saw it, but I cannot get it, which sucks because I can only order from Sephora friends. I want this. Yeah, it's 65 bucks. It's available in Europe, uh, but not everywhere. And that's just so annoying, you know, that, <clears throat> that I'm like, why? Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, it says coming soon to Amer to the US and other retailers. It's, as far as I know, also not on her site yet. Do we not have a Natasha Denona European branch? I don't know. I will have to check. But as far as I know, while I'm filming this, I cannot get it. But I am on the hunt because I want it. Yeah, I do. Very much so. Uh, it's a 65 bucks, uh, $65 palette. I think it looks pretty. I think it looks really pretty. Um, I love the promo pictures. I don't know. I want it. What can I say? I want it. And um, when I when I can get my hands on it, I will order it. Just so you know. Okay. Let me know your thoughts. Are you going to Scheme, scheme. Are you going to buy it? Are you going to skip? Let me know down below. Uh, let's next go to Essence because Essence has dropped uh, some new things. Uh, Essence Europe, that is. So they have the Hydro Hero 24 Hour Hydrating Tinted Cream. This is, or at least was available on Boozy Shop because I've seen it. I don't know if it is currently in stock, uh, but I will link uh, probably also for Cosmetic for Less. And the Cosmetic for Less does ship internationally. I don't know if they ship to the USA, but they do ship everywhere else. Um, as far as I know, at least. So if I can find stuff, I will link it. Uh, but you get a hydrating tinted cream, an under eye stick, a matte lipstick, a Hello Good Stuff Glow Serum Primer, and a sensitive but wow volume mascara. I have seen the hydro, uh, the hydro tints, but if I'm not mistaken, it's in three shades, which happens a lot of the time. When I try stuff like this, it makes me orange or pink. So that is not for me. Uh, the Hello... Uh, Good Stuff Glow Serum, I haven't tried, but I have tried their spray, their 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 hydrating spray uh, in this line that has been out for a while, and I really do like that one. Uh, I saw some of the other stuff, um, but I haven't seen it in stores yet, and I kind of would, I kind of prefer seeing stuff like this in store first. I do have some things in my wish list on Boozy Shop, um, but yeah. That's 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 kind of it. They launched actually a bunch of new stuff. So I will leave uh, Cosmetic for Less down below. And if you're in the Netherlands and Belgium, go check out Boozy Shop uh, because you can get it there as well. But Boozy Shop doesn't sell essence outside of the Netherlands and Belgium. It has to do with, I don't know. 
Uh, Douglas also sells essence, if I am not mistaken. Okay, let's next go to uh, Seattle London. Oh yeah, this. Seattle London um, that has done a collab with Smiley50. It's a limited edition eyeshadow palette. I don't know, is it then 50 years since the Smiley? I cannot imagine that. Smiley is older than 50, isn't it? I don't know, but when I saw this, I was like, why isn't it yellow? Because when I think of the smiley, and I don't mean the emojis, but when I think of the smiley, it's yellow. This ain't yellow. Um, I know that Seattle London is not really my, it's not my aesthetic. I think this is quite boring. Because the, the, the idea that I have with the smiley and not just that, I remember when I was basically in my teens that the, sm the smiley kind of came here. Um, I used to draw a lot of smileys and uh, I used to draw them every which way. And the ones that I actually drew the most was where they basically blew their top off. And then I would draw, I don't know, skyscrapers coming out of out of the head, you know, that kind of thing. So basically the acid smileys, that's more what I drew. But the colors that I associate with a smiley are not this. It's just any, any neutral palette that you can use on your eyes and on your face. And then they just put it in a round compact with a smiley face on top. It's just not it. Not only is it a weird collab, but it's only, it's also, in my opinion, poorly executed. So apparently I'm kind of a little bit bitchy uh, today. Yeah, this is when, when I saw this, I was like, what, what the actual F is this? And why is it a smiley? It's hmm. let me know your thoughts though. But for me, this is no, 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 I no. The price is 35 bucks. It's available now for pre-order. Wow. Yeah, no. Let's next go to something that was also leaked. <laughs> was kind of a little bit of the, the brand accidentally leaked it in the app. Um, someone made a screenshot, posted it online and everyone went bonkers. Um, but... It wasn't, on, it wasn't on sale yet, so it was just a mistake. But they are on sale now. And actually, part of it is coming my way. And it's from Beauty Bay. It is their new collection. And they have in their permanent lineup, they have a berry, they have an earthy, and they have a midnight. <clears throat> so uh, there are nine uh, there are three types of palettes in there, 9, 16, and 42 uh, in all the color schemes. And prices are for the 9, it's 750 US dollars or 650 pounds. Uh, British pounds. The 16 is 10 bucks and 750 British pounds, and the 42 is 25 bucks and 23 British pounds. Okay, uh, let's go over the color story. So the berries, I kind of had to stop myself because I wanted to get things from every everything, but I didn't because the berries I won't use. Um, I have color stories that. I can dupe this with. I don't use it enough. I don't like it enough to warrant me having not like green that I have, I don't know, 20 green palettes, but they all have a different color story, but they're still green. You know what I mean? It's, I don't use it enough. Um, the green though, yeah. I actually ordered the 16 palette of the green and I ordered the 16 pan palette from the midnight. So uh, the green, the bigger palette, the 42, I was looking at it at the 42 and I was like I really really like the color story of the 42 but it's just something I don't want a palette that is that big so I opted for the 16 now if you if you get the big palette you don't need the smaller ones because it's repeat shade so basically you have all the colors are in the big one then part of the colors the curated version is the 16 and then even more condensed is the 9. So you don't need all three because if you have the big one, you have the smaller ones as well. If you have the 16 pen, you have the 9 pen as well. Does that make any sense at all? So I just got the 16 pen of the green. Um, and I'm very curious to try their regular formula uh, because I haven't, I only... I only tried their um, limited edition formula. So I'm very excited about this. And then also I got from the midnight. I also got the 16 pen. And it, 
uh, it's inspired so basically the green is inspired by uh, the wilderness palette kind of and this was if i'm not mistaken inspired the midnight was inspired by the opulence but also the book of magic so i hope to get them soon i actually paid for expedited shipping i ordered them on monday when they dropped um i ordered them monday morning and as far as i know they haven't shipped which i'm kind of i'm kind of pissed off about because i'm like why do i pay for expedited shipping when you don't even ship my order this i know i'm not the only one i know i'm not the only one but still it has been i'm filming this on tuesday or thursday i ordered it on monday it should have shipped already but i don't think it has still as i'm filming this which is very very annoying let's see maybe it has shipped now i don't think so it's annoying Yeah, I know that Mac... Oh yeah, and Mac has launched at Beauty Bay. I don't care because I don't use Mac. Because Mac is not cruelty free. But yeah, maybe you care. I don't know. But no, it hasn't shipped yet. I want them to ship my order. So yeah. Uh, also the new... As I said, the new foundation from the Nessa Myrick is also coming my, my way. Let me know if you have ordered anything from this collection. Um, and again, for this as well. If you have the big palette, you don't need the other two. Let me know. Your thoughts. Does look a little bit ashy on darker skin tone though. But we will see. We will see. We will see. Y yes. Let's next go to Necromancy Cosmetica. Because they are going to do something new as well. They are going to do the Swamp and the swamp of Sorrows. And I think it's an eyeshadow palette. I really like their aesthetic. I haven't tried them. But I really like their aesthetic. And I'm very interested to see. It's probably something green. If I know more, I will let you know. But I'm very, very interested to see what this is going to be. The color story, I mean. Okay, let's next go to Violet Voss. Because they have dropped two things at Sephora. Okay, so you get a Rose Party Mini Eyeshadow Palette for 18. And then you get the Bubbly Blush Bellini Face Palette for 39. Uh, three blushes and a highlighter. Yeah... I don't know what it is with Violet Voss, but I'm not really excited by this brand, actually. Um, and honestly, I a lot of the time forget about the brand until they release something new. And it's, I don't know, it's it's not it's not expensive. Or at least the eyeshadow palette isn't, I think, at least. Uh, but it's not really exciting. I think that the color story is pretty, but it's also, uh, I have it. I have it. Let me know your thoughts. Are you excited? Have you tried it? Is it a brand that I need to try out because the formula is so amazeballs? Let me know down below. But yeah, when I saw this, I was like, yeah. Okay. Let's go next to something that a lot of people, I think it's very polarized, this. Uh, this is from Gwen Stefani. It's her new brand, uh, GXVE. Oh, Give Beauty. Okay, by Gwen Stefani. Um, you get uh, one, two, three lipsticks, a longwear matte, then a high performance, wait, a, a lightweight longwear matte original recipe, ultra matte finish. Then you get one that is, has a velvety matte finish, which is a high performance matte lipstick original recipe. I don't know. And then a satin smooth as silk finish. So you get an ultra matte, a velvety matte, and a satin. Okay, all in red. Then there's an eye pencil in two shades. A metallic black and a metallic blue. Uh, there's an eyeshadow quad with different finishes. So are there then more quads? I see one quad here. I don't know. Maybe maybe there are more quads. I'm kind of... I'm, it looks to be that there are... More quads, yeah. So it says here with different finishes, rich girl, simple kind of life, danger zone, and just a girl. So then I'm thinking that there are four quads. I'm not sure, actually. Um, then there's a Hella On Point Ultra Fine Eyebrow Pencil for 24 bucks in seven shades. A neutral blonde, cool top, warm light brown, neutral medium brown, warm deep brown, neutral black brown, and a cool black. More brands need to come out with cool black. Without red, preferably. Um... And there's also a Definition Brow Pencil in the same shades. There's a primer. 
It's vegan and cruelty free and it's available on their site and at Sephora. And I will leave their site down below. I don't know if it's available in Europe or if it's just the USA. I have no idea. Honestly though, when I saw this, I the first thing that I thought was it is very much her aesthetic. Now, do we have this 100 million times over? Yes, we do. But I, I kind of don't really mind it because... I feel it's very on brand for her with the red lipstick and the prominent brows, the neutral eye makeup, and then a wing. That's how I remember her at least. <clears throat> I, I think that she kept it on brand. Do we need it? No. But it's here and it's at least it's on brand. That's kind of, and it's not skincare, you know, uh, and makeup. I know that also some people say, yeah, but how can a celebrity be, um, you know, um, uh, very much knowledgeable of makeup well they wear it a lot and their makeup is stage makeup so i actually think that she knows very very well what she likes and what she doesn't like um and i actually think that an actor or a performer or whatever can certainly do a makeup line because ultimately they are made up very more, very much more than we are. You know, uh, everything has to be customized for them so that they have the most perfect thing. And I actually think that they will very much know what they do like and what they don't like. And that they will be, not everyone, but you know, that they can translate it basically into a makeup line of their own. Is it a cash grab? Yeah, maybe. For some it probably is, but I don't, I don't think that... Uh, Gwen Stefani has any less or more right than me starting a makeup brand. Does that make any sense? Yes, I smear makeup on the face, but I don't know. Maybe she does her own makeup as well, but or she lets other people smear makeup on the face. I don't. I don't feel like we are. Sh we should be. It's not a celebrity brand who asked for this. Yeah, that's true, but it doesn't. It doesn't give me more right to make a makeup brand than it does her. I feel at least. That's my opinion. Uh, and maybe it's polarizing. I don't know. Um, will I get anything from this? No. But I do like the aesthetic. So there is that. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let's next go to uh, a, a brand that's going to launch soon. I don't exactly know when. I don't know. But um, it's uh, called Cursed Cost. Cursed Cosmetics and it is by uh, Jesse Maya or Jesse Maya and Jesse Maya is a Dutch influencer and she is going to come out with her own makeup line and I'm actually very very interested to see what she's going to do. So I am following her. I have no information except the fact that she's going to start her own makeup line. She also has a YouTube channel. I will link it down below. Um, I'm if I'm not mistaken, her YouTube channel is in Dutch though. So there is that. But yeah, I am. Curious to see what she will do. Very, very curious to see what she will do, actually. And... Yeah, if it's if it's a little bit up my alley, if it's stuff that I'm like, I would I want to try that, then I'm going to try it. But I will talk about it again when I have more information. But I think it's amazing that we are getting another Dutch brand again. Because we need more. Yeah, we do. The last thing that I'm going to mention is from Crow and Pebble. And they these are the new blushes. They are available already. You see two swatches, right? And if I'm not mistaken, it's basically the same color, but the saturation is different. So the top row are the blushes that she already had. And they are loose blushes. And then the bottom row is the newer ones. Because she got asked for a formula that was a little bit more sheer. Which I get. Because if... if you are like me and i don't know if i just dip in and i have to do this with my brush otherwise i have clown cheeks i'm not going to go for that you know so uh, i think it's amazing that she has done that listen to her clients and made uh, made one that is more sheer there's also a choose your own bundle and there are sets um let's see Yeah, including a brand new Choose Your Own Face set bundle, which will let you mix and match between the blushes, highlighters, and contours for something perfectly suited for you. And that is very, very cool. Uh, she's based in the UK. She specializes on loose pigments. She also has perfume oils, which are very, very nice. Very nice indeed. I am wearing one from her new line. I think I'm wearing the Bear, something with Bear in the title. And it smells very nice. Yeah. Um, I do have a referral code with Crow Pebble, which will earn me store credit. And it will save you, 
I think it's 15% but I'm not exactly sure uh, but I will leave it down below and then that is it for today yeah I was kind of I, I kind of went searching for Colourpop because I'm like doesn't Colourpop release isn't Colourpop going to release something I don't know oh, by the way I did order the Darth Vader palette yeah I did So that's on its way as well. Uh, but yeah, that was it for today. I'm still here on the site because it's my weekly shout out for my members that you will see scrolling on the screen right now. If you want to become a member, there is a link to join in the description box. I did film the members only video. I filmed it. I don't think it is online already because uh, unfortunately my time management this week was a little bit off because I had some unexpected things that I had to do in between. Um, but it is coming very, very soon. I hope it's coming tomorrow. I will try to make it work. And that video is about brushes. Why I choose the brushes that I choose for a specific eye look. What my favorite brushes are and why. So basically more along the lines. What are the shapes? What's the shape I like? Why do I pick a brush for this specific task? I kind of tried to explain that a little bit. A little bit of my thought process. Um, I do want to incorporate it a little bit more in the videos that I do. Is just, you know just tell you a little bit about brushes in general so one that's a little bit more open is more diffuse if it's more dense it's packs on more you know it's um but honestly a lot of the time if you see the shape of brush that i have and you can kind of see what i'm doing with it that's the reason that i picked the brush that's in a nutshell that is but i hope that i am yeah i am more in depth in the members only video because yeah It was highly requested. Well, it was requested. And I was like, I think that will be a fun video. So that one should come very, very soon. If you want to become a member, there is a link to join in the description box. And otherwise, there is, uh, I think it's on mobile. You have a join button next to the subscribe button. You can also click that. When the video is online, I will list, I will list it on my community tab. And then you will be able to see it. So yeah, that was it for this week. Thank you so, so much for watching let me know your thoughts uh, if you feel that i have missed things uh, make sure to send them through dm on instagram thank you so so much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section below i'm going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening may your foundation always match your neck and i will see you very very soon in my next video bye